Hey guys, welcome to Tabiz. This is Satoshi. Today we will be making Japanese style flan, which is called pudding. I always loved pudding when I was a child, and I still love it. It is so easy to make, and you only need a few ingredients. Pudding is light, creamy, and sweet. Everybody loves it. So let's get started. Let's start by making the caramel sauce. For this, we need 3 tablespoons of sugar, 3 tablespoons of water, and 2 tablespoons of hot water. Now, in a small saucepan, we're going to combine our sugar and regular water. We're going to heat this over a medium-low heat. Now, at this point, you don't want to go anywhere. You want to stay right by our saucepan. You want to keep both eyes on your caramel mixture. Also, this thing is super hot, so be very careful. Once your mixture starts to turn to a golden color like this, give your saucepan a twirl just to incorporate the ingredients. Once your mixture turns into a nice amber color like this, turn off the heat and add 1 tablespoon of the hot water. At this point, you can go ahead and give it a quick mix around with a wooden spatula. And then we're going to add 1 more tablespoon of your hot water into the mixture. Turn the heat back on, give it a quick mix around, and continue to cook until the syrup has slightly thickened. You don't want it too thick and you don't want the sauce to be too dark. Now this is the consistency that we are looking for. Once this is done, set this aside. Now we're going to go on to making the custard pudding. For this, we'll need a cup of milk, 3 eggs, 4 tablespoons of sugar, and a little bit of vanilla beans. Grease the inside of your tins with some melted butter. Cut open the vanilla pods to scrape out the beans. Now if you don't have vanilla beans, that's no problem. You can go ahead and use vanilla extract. We're going to add the vanilla beans right into our milk. We're going to give this milk a quick mix around. Add it to a small saucepan and we're going to heat it up until it's just warm. Next, we're going to add our eggs into a bowl. For this recipe, we're using two whole eggs and one egg yolk. What I like to do with my leftover egg white is to just add it to soup to make a simple egg drop soup. But I'm pretty sure you can think of other ways to use it up. Add your sugar and give it a quick whisk with a fork. Then add your milk mixture. For our makeshift steamer, we simply place the plate in a frying pan with a water bath. Now let's pour our custard through a colander to ensure a smooth custard. Next, we're going to pour in our caramel sauce and we're going to make sure that they are completely covering the bottom of the tins. This caramel sauce is so good, it drives me wild. Next, we're going to add the egg mixture and pour it right over the caramel sauce. Now do this very gently because you don't want any unnecessary air bubbles in your custard. Cover the custard cups with some aluminum foil. Once you've done this, we're just about ready to cook our custards. Place the custard into your steamer or your very cool and unique makeshift one. Now before closing the lid, make sure you have some water in your steamer. Okay? Alright, now we're going to steam over low heat for between 20 to 40 minutes, depending on your steamer. After about 20 minutes, you may want to check to see whether your custard has set. Once your custard has set, we're going to take them out. Just to make sure, let's take a peek. Is it set? Yep, I think so. This is the consistency that we are looking for. We're going to place these in a refrigerator for a couple of hours because Japanese pudding is always better cold. Run a knife along the edges of the custard and we're going to invert it onto a plate or your favorite cute little bowl. And guess what? The Japanese pudding or the Japanese custard is ready to eat. That caramel sauce combined with that silky smooth sweet pudding is so yummy. Try. Here we go. Ooh. 
そう。うん。Please try it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Please let us know what you thought in the comment below. Do you have any request? Please let me know down there. And subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.